Hello everyone, welcome to your next home workout. Now before we get started on the workout itself, we're gonna get warmed up. Okay, so we do three exercises, 10 reps in each exercise for three rounds. So our first exercise, what we're gonna do is go to a squat position, okay? Feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna go fingertips under your toes. We're gonna drop into the squat and then push up through the hips. You should get a nice stretch for your hamstrings and your lower back. You're going to drop down as far as you can, and from there, push up, straighten your legs as far as you can. Okay, after 10 reps, you're going to remain at the bottom of the squat. You're going to place both hands on the inside of the floor, and you're going to rotate as far as you can, and try and look up towards the ceiling. So you go from there, you're going to rotate, back, back. And that is going to be for 10 reps. Now, last exercise, what we're doing, we're going to go into a high plank position and we're really going to get your core warmed up. And we're going to do very slow mountain climbers across the body. So we're going to do 10 each leg. Nice and slow. Make sure your weight is over your shoulders so you're not sticking your bum up in the air. And you're going to do 10 each leg. Now, once you've completed that, then you're going to repeat over three times and then you're ready to start your workout. So everyone, the workout today is split into two parts. The first part is a 10 minute AMRAP. AMRAP simply means as many rounds or reps as possible in 10 minutes. So it's up to you how you approach this workout. You can either go hard for the 10 minutes or just move steady for the 10 minutes. And it's really simple, you've got two exercises. You've got a body weight lunge. Now if you do have a dumbbell, you can hold a dumbbell if you want to. Even if you've got a barbell, you can even hold a barbell or kettlebell if you want to. Now what, what this is, this is a lapid and ladder style workout. So the reps start in 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 and beyond if you can. Okay, And you're going to see how far you can get this workout. So our first exercise is going to be the lunge. Now when we're doing a lunge, that's two reps on each leg. So what we're going to do, we're going to lunge forward, take it as low as we can to the floor, push back. So that would be considered one rep. So we're counting the reps on each leg. Okay, after we've completed two reps on each leg, then we're gonna make our way down to the floor. Now from here, we're gonna do what's called a hand release push-up. So when we do a hand release push-up, we're resting our chest on the floor, keeping our hips and thighs off the floor, releasing the hands and then pushing up. So we're gonna go down, keep the hip bones and the legs off the floor, release the hands, push up. One, now obviously as the reps get a little bit progressively harder as they increase, you might have to break that up a little bit. Now if you cannot do a full hand release push up and you want to go to a regular chest to floor push up, that is fine. Also on your knees are fine, just make sure that bump isn't sticking up in the air. So you're going to go down, rest your chest on the floor, release your hands and push. And then you're going to continue up towards a 10 minute cap, make a record of how many reps you've got. Okay guys, so after completing part A of the workout, you're gonna rest for two minutes. Then we're gonna start the second part of the workout. Now this workout is called every minute on the minute. So you're gonna start a new exercise at the start of the minute, get the reps done, usually between 30 and 45 seconds, rest the remainder of the minute. This is gonna be focused on everything around your core. So. The first exercise on minute one, we're going to go with 15 weighted sit-ups. Now you can do this without the weight as well, don't feel like you have to do it with the weight. It is totally up to you how hard you want to make this workout. So if we head down, I'll show you what we're doing. So our first exercise, we're going to go to butterfly sit-up position, which means our knees are out and our feet are pressed together. We're going to hold a small weight on our chest. Yet again, you can do this without the weight. And we're going to go for 15 reps, weighted sit-ups. So we're going to keep the weight on your chest and it's going to make them sit-ups a little bit harder, okay? You can do that without the weight, making sure you touch the floor behind you and you're reaching out beyond your feet. Now, if you really struggle to get 15 reps in, you can lower that a little bit as well. And in the same token, if you haven't got a weight, you can increase reps up to, say, 20 reps. Now, on the next minute, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into a side plank. 
So from here, we're gonna make sure that elbow is directly under the shoulder, so supporting your weight. You can have your legs in a split position, you can have your legs on top of each other, it's totally up to you. So on minute two, you're gonna go up, you're gonna hold for 30 seconds, keeping that hip off the floor, keeping your head forward. Now when we move on to the third minute, you're gonna to need to grab a sofa or a chaise lounge. And what you're gonna do from here, you're gonna do 15 blue bridges. Now you can raise up your shoulders so you get a little bit of range of motion and the move is a little bit harder. So from here, we're gonna go shoulder blades pinned on the bench. Now your feet, your feet are gonna be in a squat position. We kind of want the knees to face out a little bit as well, so not caving in during the reps. Now from here, your hands across your chest, you can drop your hips, up, squeeze. Yet again, you can use the weight to make it a little bit more challenging on your waist, up, squeeze and hold. 15 reps. Yet again, you can increase the reps or you can decrease the reps slightly, as long as you're working for 45 seconds. Now the fourth minute, you're gonna go back to the other side, for the other side plank. So we've done the left side first time, we're gonna do the right arm this time. So we're gonna go three, two, one, up. We're gonna hold that side plank for 30 to 45 seconds. And you're gonna, and you're gonna repeat this cycle over three times, so it's 12 minutes in total. Hope you enjoy, please let me know how you get on.